Hi, this video is part of a series of videos I'm making for business people who are starting to make their own videos with their smartphone or other, and also trying to get up to speed on live streaming. We'll also be looking at some editing systems as well. So this video is from content I give out in my workshops, and it's really about common mistakes that people make make their first videos. This video is going to focus more on the technical aspects. Number one is captions, which you should see running underneath the video here. So captions are very important because people are scrolling through social media with the sound off, and they have to know what your video is about to click on it, to click into it. This really helps your engagement. You can add in captions manually. It is quite labor intensive. I use a service called rev.com, which is inexpensive and really does a good job. Number two is framing and background. So coming from a film background, we talk about the rule of thirds. The subject should be on one third of the screen, left or right, and their eye line should be on the top third of the screen. With the advent of square videos, it's a little bit different. The subject should be just a little bit off center. You also want to leave a little bit of headroom, not too much. As regards background, background is even more important because you're showing a little bit about you or your business or both. So for me, I have my logo and I have some nice lighting on that. It gives an air of professionalism. It's up to you what your background is. Uh, if in doubt, just a plain blank wall. Number three is lighting. So as you can see, I have lighting set up here, but also you want your lighting to be consistent. I have Venetian blinds in my office, so they do let in a bit of light. I've actually put a sheet over them as well because I don't want the lighting to go up and down between different takes which would make my video look a bit odd. So that's why I always recommend people to use a camera app, a specialized one for their phone. Uh, one I use that's free is Open Camera. Uh, these are really good because you can lock exposure and increase your production values. Number four is audio. So the first thing you should purchase is a mic for your camera or your phone. I recommend the Boya M1 mic it's only about 20 euros and it will really increase your production values. Number five is keep it steady. So I have my camera on a tripod here on my desk. So you put your phone or camera on a tripod or anywhere that keeps it steady. It should be at eye level because if it's at a lower level looking up, it's an unflattering angle. If you have any animation or video production needs or need some training, feel free to get in contact. If you'd like a list, of all the equipment, apps, software, and services that we use and recommend. Just message us with your email and we'll send that out to you. Talk to you soon, bye.